hey guys what's up i hope everybody is doing well welcome to another video on my channel sitting in front of you is my boiler also known as maypole when i'm on the streets trying to be cool trying to be the it girl yes <laughs> I am Abula, I am an attorney content creator and a small business owner for now. Obviously because we're going to hit the ball rocking, we're going to hit the ball rocking and it's going to be a big business owner or a multiple business owner. Can I get an amen? Amen. Alright guys, so today, um, before I tune into it, I just want to say thank you to everybody, to my 766 subscribers. What's up? I see you guys and I really, really appreciate it. Loving, loving the engagement. That is where I get most of my content. That is where I get my inspiration. And I am so happy that you guys are following me also on my other different social platforms. I appreciate it. And if you are seeing me for the first time, hey, honey. Hey, dude. What's good? What's good? Please do click on the red, subs the red button that says subscribe. Click on the like button. Leave a comment. Ask a question. If I know it, I will answer it. And if I don't, I will research and come back with the correct information for you. Okay, so basically the lawyer corner has... Oh, we've got new people here. Welcome, guys. This is the lawyer corner. The reason we call it the lawyer corner is because there's different content on this video, on this channel. Um, lately, it's been a lawyer corner stuff, but there's different... Um, there's different content on this so this is specifically the lawyer corner I am shooting from my lovely office I remember my my brother came to my office and he said that my office is so <laughs> it does not reflect my personality at all because I am a very out there person I'm a Virgo I love bright things I'm a perfectionist and so I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna revamp it I'm gonna make it into my own and then I'm gonna give you a little office tour but this video is not about that so um the lawyer corner has been taken from a direction of becoming an attorney in south africa and i've also been providing you with um information on like your llb your your articles graduating and then all of that and doing your application but then today i'm going to be taking things in a little different type of route so I recently read, read an article. I don't know why I'm speaking so fast. I'm so sorry. I just recently, about four days ago, I read an article about a child on, at the Cape Flats who got bitten by a dog and is now in the ICU fighting for her life. And <clears throat> the good thing is that it got a lot of covering on it. So I'm guessing that the parents of the child know what they can do and with regards to claiming damages against um the dog owner so i know a lot of people might not know this for example the reason why at my house we've never had dogs pets are not a thing my mom when she was young shout out to her um you know her mom my grandmother used to hustle and bustle and they used to sell veggies so them selling veggies should i take off my glasses because of the reflection but now i can't see myself Eesh. sorry guys um so they used to sell veggies and they used to knock at different places and then she went to this one house and um they said no come in the dog won't bite you and on her they didn't even buy worst of all they let her come in and they saw the potatoes and the and the uh, tomatoes and the green peppers and then they didn't buy and then when she went out they didn't, they didn't escort her and the dog bit her and it was just traumatic for her and obviously back in the day they did not know what to do it's just to say we chat and it was that on that so because of that my mom being bitten by a dog and this child now being bitten by a dog and I know so many people have been bitten by dogs and nothing has been done to make sure that that dog is reprimanded and the dog owner is also reprimanded so that's this video is basically about that <clears throat> i'll also share another story in the hood of what happened with dog owners like guys like <laughs> so anyway so as per the title of the video is 
you get attacked by a dog who do you sue so the legal the legal principle by the way this video is not going to be long i did not do a lot of research on it i just wanted to give you advice to say you can do something about it okay um so the legal principle at play here is um Disclaimer, I did not do Latin when I was in varsity. It was not an option when I was doing my ROB in 2011. So I'm just going to say it the way I read it. So I'll just put it down here. It's called Actio di Popri. There's a Z at the end, but it's a silent Z. So yeah, Actio di Popri. So what Actio di Popri means is that a dog needs to act in a, a domesticated dog or a dog living in a human environment needs to act in a certain behavior it has to have characteristics of a dog that has been developed and can associate with other humans this also is a cry and a request to a dog owner if you want a a dangerous dog or if you want a dog that's going to protect the house obviously when you're not around or you just want a dog you need to take your dog to training to understand that it is now living in a human environment it is not a caged animal where it can go rogue and go crazy on the streets no it needs to understand that that is a human being and if i am not pro this is the dog who's supposed to understand this if i am not provoked i should not attack I must attack when I'm provoked or when I'm in a situation I'm protecting and someone is trying to enter um, forcefully and without the owner's permission. Okay, so dog owners, obviously, if you have like a young chihuahua and all that, those dogs are naturally not dogs that attack people, but they can attack people because they got teeth and they just. <laughs> So you need to take your dog to dog training, especially if you're going to live in a, in a place like at a, at a townhouse um, gated community where they allow pets. Your dog needs dog training. OK, like it is necessary for your dog to go for dog training. OK, so that's basically the legal principle here that a dog needs to be developed in a certain manner to have characteristics of living in a human environment okay so in a situation where someone is bitten by a dog obviously the defense of the plaint of the defendant is going to be the defendant being the dog owner so the defendant will say no um they provoked it they provoked it sammy is such a good dog oh my gosh sam 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 is such a good dog it'll got provoked or they'll say uh mm -mm, we were not home nope that that person was trespassing and sammy knew exactly what to do attack 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 you know um yeah that's basically some of the defenses that they will use that the dog was either provoked or the dog was protecting the property so in a case where a dog is attacking a child who is lower below the age of 10 so the law says that a child who is lower than the age of 10 does not have the mental capacity and the intellectual capacity to appreciate the fact that if they provoke a dog or if they walk towards a dog it will bite them hence i'm mean, going back to the point of dog training a dog needs to know that a person who is this height is a child a person who's that height those things guys dog trainers they do this they train dogs i mean if a dog can get trained that if it's inside a car, it must not pee. It must pee when it's outside. Why can't you train it that don't bite babies, you know, bite criminals at night or people who throw stones at you? Like a dog can get trained. So anyway, dogs are very smart. I mean, you get people who are blind who use dogs as their, I don't know what they call them, but yeah, that. So a child below the age of 10 does not have the 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 mental capacity to appreciate that fact and in this um there's a case where oh and i'm oh <sighs> so guys i was eating hot wings excuse me so in this graham case a dog i think they called it a master a mastiff or a massive 
a massive or a mastiff, a massive dog, bulldog, um, basically attacked a five-year-old. So this is what happened. I'm just going to paint the picture for you. So cool. There's a five-year-old and at, at her friend's house, right? And the friend's neighbor had, is the dog owner and it's where the dog is. So the five-year-old sits on the boundary wall. The boundary wall is the wall that separates the neighbor, the dog owner, and her friend's house. So she sits on the wall, clearly number one. If a five-year-old is able to get onto that wall and sit and chill without a hassle, then it means that wall is not high enough or it's not that high. And if it's not high for a five-year-old, it definitely is not going to be that high for an angry and aggressive dog to lunge on you and attack you okay so what happened in this case is that this five-year-old sat on that boundary wall and as it was sitting there sorry it as she was sitting on the wall the dog attacked her and, and, and bit her on her thigh and the mom the mom obviously lodged lodge lodged lodge <laughs> so you got her to speak. See that chava chav. So the mom lodged a claim against the dog owner to say that no, my child got bitten by your dog and it was not even on the property. The excuse me, the case that the court cited in that is a case called Green versus Naidu. I'll put a link down below. You guys can go read it for yourselves. Because I, I do condone reading on this channel. So in that judgment, a summary of it is that the judge said that a child who is below the age of 10 years old cannot appreciate the fact that if it approaches a dog, it will bite the dog. Also, in that case, it also shows that the child, by merely sitting on their wall, did not provoke the dog. The dog is now not acting actioni porous in its developed characteristic nature to be in a human environment but it is acting like a savage so based on that the judge was like no this was a child the dog was supposed to know that this is a child the dog the, the child had not gotten onto the property the child did not provoke the dog in any way based on those facts this dog is guilty of acting outside its nature Yes, a dog is a savage, but if you're going to take a savage and put it in an environment where there's human beings, you need to train it. So now we are operating with the mind that this dog has is trained. This dog understands. This dog must have intellectual capacity to know that that is a child. I can't remember you're taking dogs and putting them with humans. So you must also appreciate the fact that you must train it. So the court was like, nah fam, there was no provocation, the child just sat on the wall. That means this dog is crazy. Someone just sits on the wall and it bites them? No. The, and then the, 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 the judge ruled against the, the defendant and, and they were ordered to pay uh, the damages that the, that the parents suffered and what the child would suffer in the future because of that bite mark on the thigh. So... I hope this video really helps you this is not a long video but i just felt like people need to know because you know what this is a story that i wanted to share with you guys and then i'm done i remember when i was growing up i'm from sashiro um akasi in Limpopo. um i'm doing so many ums i hate that when i, I always hear myself doing um so when i was growing up this never happened to me but a friend of mine told me that this once happened so at home there's a park that we have goes on for just before beachfront just a street before beachfront where it's close to a school called uh, mahato high school so this high school was basically also using that park as a practicing ground because it had like soccer facilities and the soccer boys would practice their soccer over there and other people would just be at the park doing what people do at the park you know chilling and whatever um it wasn't those fancy parks where these like trees and picnic vibes but there were these two colored guys who were just known to be a disruption to society in my hood um so these guys had these pit bulls are they called pit bulls i'll put a picture of them those dmx dogs they had two of these dogs 
and clearly those dogs were not domesticated because every time they walked around or took those dogs for a walk those dogs would be pulling them like you know when you're walking a dog and it's pulling you because it's just going crazy because it's seeing people it's just seeing you know what i mean um and uh, they went to the park right they locked the park gate and they let those dogs on the loose guys imagine the trauma that those people went through running away from dogs getting to the gate and having to now namela the fence like some people are not okay at least now we know at least now you guys know you guys know if somebody does that matter a claim oh sue you we gonna sue you guys having a dog is just like having a baby you need to take care of it you need to make sure there was another you know what like dog stories i remember there was a guy on my street who i think he was away for two days and his parents forgot to feed his dog and he had one of those big dog like super big he came back and he wanted to get in where the dogs were eating or where the dogs live they bit him they were hungry so can you see what the dog owner also contributed to a dog acting all savage so yeah guys that's it from me to you have yourselves a lovely lovely evening or lovely morning or lovely day or lovely month it is the beginning of november so let's do it can you believe it guys it's already the end of the year <gasps> three weeks from now and it's december anyway from me to you guys it's love peace and happiness thank you so much for tuning in don't forget to follow me on my other social media platforms i am a blessed to self everywhere with underscore in between my name and my surname and don't forget to click on the subscribe button on this on this channel Ooh. Bye.